Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on changing the subject of a formula where the subject appears on both sides of the equation. So we want to make x a subject of this equation. And to make x a subject means that you want to get x on its own on one side of the equation. Now the strategy when x appears multiple times like it is here is this. You want to first isolate the subject on one side of the equation only. Secondly, you want to factorise the subject out. And this will become clear once we actually do this example. And then finally, you divide appropriately. So that's the only strategy we need to use for this question. Now firstly, we want to isolate the subject on one side of the equation. Now the subject terms here involve the x. So we've got the ax here and the bx. Now we want to get all the x terms on one side of the equation. So you can decide to put all the x terms on the left-hand side of the equation or the right-hand side of the equation. It doesn't actually matter. Now I'm going to choose to put it on the right-hand side of the equation only because then if I move the other stuff to the left, can you see you've got a minus c here? And if you add c to both sides, it's then going to be positive. So let's choose to get all the x terms on the right-hand side of the equation. But it'll still work if you put all the x terms on the left. So if I want to get all the x terms on the right-hand side of the equation, I don't want that x term on the left. So to get rid of that plus ax, I'm going to minus ax from both sides of the equation. So if I do that, that gets rid of this plus ax, just leaving free. And then we've got bx minus c, and then we've got minus ax. Yep. Now, we've got all the x terms on one side of the equation, but this is not an x term. So anything that's not an x term should go on the other side of the equation. So we're just going to add c to both sides to get rid of that minus c. And if you do that, we get 3 plus c equals bx minus ax. Now, on the right-hand side of the equation, we've only got x terms now, nothing else. And so we've done part one of the method. What about part two? Factorise the subject out. So we just need to factorise the x out of this. So we just leave the left-hand side as it is. If we factorise x out, we have a single bracket here. x times what is bx? Well, it's b. x times what is minus ax? It's minus a. So now we've done part two of the method. And finally, we just need to divide appropriately. Can you see that x has been multiplied by b minus a? So to get rid of the times by b minus a, we just need to divide both sides by b minus a. So let's do that. So if we divide the 3 plus c by b minus a, we get 3 plus c over b minus a. And we don't need the brackets around it, by the way, because there's nothing else around that denominator. And if we divide the right-hand side of the equation by b minus a, it just gets rid of that b minus a, leaving just x. And now we're done, because x is on its own on one side of the equation, and it's therefore the subject.